Today, we're going to talk about phosphofructokinase 2, or PFK2 for short. It's an enzyme that takes fructose 6-phosphate and ATP and reacts them to make fructose 2,6-bisphosphate and ADP. If you're familiar with glycolysis, you'll notice that this reaction is very similar to the reaction performed by PFK1, but there's a key difference. The second phosphate group is attached to the 2 position instead of the 1 position. Instead of proceeding with glycolysis, this compound acts as an allosteric regulator on PFK1. And since PFK1 performs the rate-limiting step of glycolysis, this increases the rate of glycolysis as a whole. If you'd like to learn more about PFK1, I'd recommend that you watch my other video here. Now, PFK1 is already regulated to meet the energy needs of the cell. AMP increases its activity, while ATP decreases its activity. So why do we need PFK2? Well, PFK2 can be used as an override switch. We use it to keep glycolysis going, even when there's plenty of ATP around. For example, suppose we're looking at a liver cell. Even when there's plenty of ATP, we need to keep glycolysis running because the liver needs to make fatty acids and storage proteins. So we can use hormonal signals to control the rate of glycolysis. For example, the hormone insulin increases the activity of PFK2. This creates more fructose 2,6-bisphosphate, which increases the activity of PFK1 and keeps glycolysis going, even though the pathway is being inhibited by ATP. But eventually, the insulin will fall out of the active site and get degraded, so this signal only lasts as long as the insulin is around. Conversely, we can decrease the rate of glycolysis with a hormone called glucagon. Glucagon binds to PFK2, reducing its activity. Thus, we can use glucagon to downregulate glycolysis. The last thing I want to mention is that my animation here is not drawn to scale. Insulin and glucagon are polypeptides, which means that they're really big compared to fructose. Insulin is made of about 50 amino acids, while glucagon is made of about 30 amino acids. So keep that in mind. 